the development occurs in a cephalocaudal and proximal to distal direction. What does it mean? There are two parts of a body. There is the central axis and there are the limbs, right? In the central axis, the development attainment first occurs in the upper part and then comes the lower part. So you know that development refers to the maturation of functions. So when we talk about development, there are six rules of development that you need to know. The first rule of development is that it is considered to be a continuous process. Development starts in utero and continues throughout life. We keep on learning something every day. Even myself, I am uh, last say eight years I am into pediatrics. But still daily I learn something else and that is true even for my teachers, my professors whom I meet uh, sometimes. So they are also like we saw this child and we had this, uh, we, we came to know that such a thing also exists. So learning is a continuous process. Development is nothing but learning of uh, consciously and subconsciously the various processes. It includes the cognitive phenomena, it includes motor phenomena and thus development is called to be a continuous process. These six cardinal features of development can be asked in entrance exam. They are given in Ghai, they are given in Illingworth. Second is, development depends upon the functional maturation of the CNS. How fast and how uh, slow the CNS is maturing, it depends upon the functional maturation. Children who will have any CNS problem, obviously they will be prone to developmental delays. Third, the sequence is virtually the same. When I say sequence is the same, I'm not talking about a particular milestone will be attained at a certain age. Sequence same means when you talk about a gross motor milestone, a child will first learn to control his neck or head. Then the child will be able to sit with support, then sit without support, then stand with support and then start walking. It will not happen that the child will start walking first and then other factors will come into play. Other features will come later, head control will come later, no. There is always a particular sequence which is always followed in every child. The timing of attainment may vary from one child to another. Fourth, this is very important and potential MCQs can be asked on this. The development occurs in a cephalocaudal and proximal to distal direction. What does it mean? There are two parts of a body. There is the central axis and there are the limbs, right? In the central axis, the development attainment first occurs in the upper part and then comes the lower part. For example, head or neck control comes first. Things related to trunk development or turning over come later. So cephalocaudal progression is seen. Similarly, proximal to distal in case of limbs. Whenever a child has development of uh, milestones, the proximal milestones will come early and the distal milestones will come last. All these fine motor milestones involving fine movements of hands will always come later as compared to gross movements involving your palm, involving your forearm and involving your arm. So the development question can be asked what ways it progresses. In the central axis, it is cephalocaudal or craniocaudal. In limbs, it is proximal to distal. So these are the two things can be asked in super specialty entrance exam. Next, primitive reflexes must be lost for new reflexes to come. Primitive reflexes, you know that newborns, I'll give an example, newborns are having palmer grasp reflex. You stroke something and the newborn folds his fingers to hold it. The, the holding is more prominent on the ulnar side. It is called as ulnar palmer grasp reflex. Palmer grasp reflex must be lost before voluntary grasp comes. In a newborn, in a term child, you know already that palmer grasp reflex is present. It is usually lost around three months of age. Some children lose it as late as four to five months. And only when it is lost, then you will find the palmer grasp, the voluntary palmer grasp comes into play. So primitive reflex has to go before a new reflex comes. Similarly, you have asymmetric tonic neck reflex. Till that reflex goes away, the child cannot start turning over in the bed. So primitive reflexes are lost. 
acquired reflexes, voluntary reflexes, voluntary milestones take their place. And sixth is disorganized activity is replaced by specific actions. So as my development progresses, the disorganized activity becomes more specific, more goal oriented. It is something you can already imagine. So these are the six rules of development, the key words you need to remember. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PrepLadder.